This is the Calibre Zero, and today I'm going to show you a kind of sort of concept that came up with um, um, in my test for um, using Messicons to kind of make a Pokemon trading system. It's more of a conceptual than um, in actuality, since there is no system for Pokemon or anything like that. If you're not familiar with the Pokemon series, it's basically um, the trade machine is to have Pokemon, which are creatures that um, people collect and then you can trade with other people like a one to one trade you send uh, a person one of yours and then they send you one of yours or one of theirs um so it came up with the idea to um kind of iron out a concept of this just for see how interesting it would be um um for um on um, one of my youtube videos someone commented um that um, the tube system I used in a mod mob spawner um, concept I came up with would be interesting for a Pokemon trade machine. So um, I kind of thought like if there were Pokemon or any type of similar thing this could be used for, um, what would it be like? So I came up with this machine. Um, this machine, um, it's. So it looks a little bit complicated at first, but it's not really all that complicated. Um, what you have is um, you uh, so for say for instance, to be one begin a trade, one person goes on one side of the wall, the other person goes on the other side of the wall. Um, then there's um, kind of the chest here. Each person places um, <laughs> what they want to trade in the chest. So for instance, this person wants to trade a piece of cobble. Um, and the other person wants to trade for that piece of cobble a, um, a chest and um, both people agree um, beforehand so yep that's the trade that I want and um, when someone decides yep no, someone agrees to the trade they flip their switch and then the other person once they agree to it they flip their switch as well and then as they when both of these are lit up, then uh, trade begins. And let me do it again to show you a little bit better. Um, the item goes. Items in the um, chest are you sent through the deployer, through the pipes, and into a kind of output chest. Um, so if you look, let me just get this going again. Um, so then. Um, both people agree, and then the items go through the tubes and into the output chests. You can see there. Um, now, how this system works is first you have a dividing wall in the middle. Um, this wall is um, one, two, three, four, five, six blocks wide. Well, long, but um, you can use any width you want, it um, doesn't really matter. Um, but then, um, so right here, there's two holes in the wall, um, and underneath there's a large um, kind of pit area. You can make this smaller if you try to replicate it, but uh, it's just kind of what I went with. Uh, it's easier to kind of put it together, seeing there's more space. Um, and so what, what um, I have here is, so first there's the switch mechanism. Each switch mechanism is attached to a column of Messi, which goes down here. Then it's connected to a, from a line of Messi cons to a AND gate. And the AND gate, um, what it does is, if um, the two lines going into the side of it are both on, then it sends an odd si on signal forward. But if there, if one, only one's on, it doesn't send a signal. If none of them are on, it doesn't send a signal. So they ought to both beyond so that way both um, people agree to the trade as there's another switch that connects to it here with the other side. So once both people decide they agree they flip the switches um, each pillar gets power goes to here the AND gate and it uh, turns on the AND gate since both um, inputs are positive it sends the positive output to this column here and um, this kind of is beneath the wall a little bit it might be a bit difficult to see but it goes over on this side it goes over to here and then over here over here up here 
to the deployer. So once it's active, it activates the deployer. The deployer takes the first thing from the chest here and sends it through here to the output on the other side. And it works the same way for the other side where the messy signal also go at the same time goes up to here, through here, over here, and to the deployer which sends the first thing in the chest to the other side. And that's really about it. Um, it's just pretty simple kind of basic concept. There's not really any real use of this in specifics. Um, you can um, probably come up with it, some type of use for it if you want. Um, but this is really just more of conceptual. Um, and of course this doesn't ha need to apply to Pokemon since it's not in the game. <laughs> You can really apply it to any sort of trade system, though, um, no, um, note that, um, it's not really the best, it's not, like, um, really ironed out trade system, it's, it's really fairly simple, it's not, all. um, I'm sure there's problems with it, um, but there's just kind of the basic concepts and ideas behind it. Now you see it only trades um, well, one thing at a time, but you can see there are any possible problems with it if you don't adjust it to whatever you need, you need it for. But um, this is really just a kind of example of some of the basic concepts of combining pipeworks and messy cons. And feel free to use this uh, and exp uh, expand upon it in any way you want love to see any type of videos or anything on people using some of these ideas in other ways. But, um, that's really about all there is to it. So, um, uh, this is a Calibre Zero signing off.